The first stage when you want to work on an air rifle is to thoroughly clean your work area. So get rid of all that rubbish and give it a good sweep. Make sure there's no dirt and dust around because if they get in your piston they're going to cause all sorts of problems later on. And that'll do. Now just can let's give it a sweep. As I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to be replacing the trigger and the spring on this Lightning. So to do that, normally what I would do is uh, not bother taking the barrel off, to be honest with you, because I don't really see the need to and I've got clamps that are long enough to suit it. But this one has this uh, moderator on the end of it. If I unscrew that, it's not exactly the strongest on the end. So... We're going to have to take the barrel off and you that does have the uh, advantage of using a shorter clamp. So to start with, we need to knock out the pin that retains the barrel. Now, you want to use a punch for doing that with. Size it so as it's just slightly smaller than what you're going to be knocking out. It's actually quite funny. The uh, pin was pretty much finger tight. Uh, out it came. Now these guns do suffer from wear on these pins, leading to a, a loose barrel, which then can cause accuracy problems. I noticed that the barrel did feel quite loose during cocking, but it locked up nice and tight. I did take the precaution of uh, ordering a new pin, so, uh, and it's too short. Damn you, nibs. Damn you. Well, great. Okay, super. That's going to have to go back then. Nice gentle taps. And she's out. It's actually quite nice and tight there, I have to say. Very nice. Okay, almost there, there we go, and she's out. So now let's undo the pin on the trigger, no we're not going to be able to do that just yet. So uh, let's see how we do that and then I'll get back to you. One of the best tools when working on air rifles is a damn decent vice, like this one. The only thing is you've got the metal jaws. Now normally I'd use a leather welding apron to protect them. Unfortunately, the welder isn't here, so neither is my apron. Damn. Right back to the rescue. Uh, pillowcase, I think, or something. And a pair of pants, because let's beat it. They're the best rags. They are clean. They're clean. So uh, let's get her secured and let's start on getting that uh, spring out and that trigger guard off. Trigger guard? Trigger. Just a downside of using pants to remember. Buttons, because I'm a boxers kind of guy. None of those Y fronts. Jeez, no. So uh, cut the buttons off so they don't mark anything or uh, suddenly go ping and then you get bits of plastic all, all there, everywhere and all in your gun. Okay. You want it just tight enough so it's holding in there. The last thing you want to do is to make your uh, nice round cylinder a uh, lovely oval shape. So. Let's go on to knocking the pin out of the back of the air gun, which uh, takes on a little tour now. This is my workshop, by the way. I built it. It's great. So we're talking about this pin here. Let's knock that out and let's see what happens. At this point, we have got the rifle stripped down to the point where we've just got part of the cocking arm. Trigger assembly. 
and this pin left to go. Now this has got these two holes in it here. Now at first I thought, does it wind out? But no, those are to show you the orientation of it because the spring sits against the back of that. There's a cutout in it, which we'll have a look at later. Now this needs to be knocked out with, your, with a drift, punch, whatever, and we want to remove the trigger assembly. Now there is no way that this is going to come out and this pin, short of butchering it, absolutely will not come out. However, little cheat is that the pin down here, arm, pin, whatever you want to call it, can actually be convinced very gently out of the trigger assembly, off, pull the arm up, and where the cocking arm is, there is this little hole here in the factory where it goes in and out and there you go comes off that will save a lot of swearing and a lot of anger if you just do that this is me making my removal tool having to butcher a socket i'm really starting to dislike this rifle i have to say i am really starting to dislike it I've already drilled out the holes to uh, 10 millimeters. I'm going to take them up to 12 millimeters, and uh, I hope this works. Brilliant! Snatch City. That was as in the drill snatching, by the way. Not referring to uh, anything else that may be called that. I have to say, uh, at work I was handed a card for a company, packaging company, they're called Snatch Pack. How I didn't laugh, I don't know. Um, great name, great name guys, great name. That's a drilling done, took it out to 12 millimeters. Now the ultra fun filing. Yay, I love hand filing. Ooh. Say this was one of my reserve sockets, so I'm quite disturbed by how easily it is filing. That's the rough filing done. Because I'm an engineer, let's use the second cut, get those edges nice and smooth. Here we have it, finished item. Still a bit rough, but uh, it'll do. Yeah, not bad for someone who's assured that he lacks intelligence and wherewithal. I think I did not a bad job of that, considering I'm just doing it in a few minutes. Try and get this gun fixed. All right, see if it works. So, uh, in she goes. You can see the pin across there. And the spring guide. Down she goes and on. Let's get her in the clamp. Let's get this pin out. We've got the cylinder in the vise. Let's get the clamp on it. Oh goodness me. Um, I've done so many takes. That one's staying in. Stick your clamp on. And make sure that you're in the right place in the vise. Because in the last take... I wasn't. There we go. It's a shame that isn't going to be on the video because you could actually see the spring guide move. There we go. Let's get this pin out. Right here. Let's get some taps on it with a hammer. Let's see if it will finally move. Beautiful. There we go. tapping gently because I don't want it to fall on the floor. I've already had virtually everything else from this gun fall on the floor and get dirty because this is my shed which is a work in progress. Still not built. The floor is built. And it fell on the floor. 
Right now the spring is under tension in the cylinder. It's only being held in place by this clamp. This is the point where you can break your wrist, get blinded, have stuff fly across the workshop. Let's hope it's not all of the above. I'll settle for just one, hopefully the latter. But uh, fingers crossed, I'm looking away now and releasing the clamp. Wow, that's the least amount of spring pressure I've ever known. That might just be why the gun was a little bit underpowered. Spring guide, very nice. Spring. Now, let's compare that to the new one. Because uh, I was very curious about this. The cylinder is so damn short. Okay. It's going to be interesting. Count the number of coils. Two, three. I make that 27, including the ends. Thirty-one. Right, okay. Well, we'll try fitting it. Let's see what happens. Um, could be interesting. See how we go. A lot of people will tell you you should grease the springs. Not a big fan of that, to be honest. There we go. She's in. Spring guide. Spring guide is a very tight fit in the new spring. That does not bode well. Okay. Special tool. Hmm, uh, this is not going to be fun. Right. I'm going to pause the video. And uh, to be frank, you may not want to see what happens now. So uh, if I restart it, I haven't killed myself with uh, flying springs and bits and I uh, haven't had to go to A&E. Let's keep our fingers crossed, eh? Well, she's in. There we go. Um, it wasn't pretty. Very difficult. Main trouble is getting this lined up. I did uh, consider going full disrespected nose and taking you along with me for the journey. That's a mighty car mods fan's uh, nod there. But uh, no, I thought it's too fiddly. I don't want to inflict that on you. Anyway, she's in. Um, if you're going to do this job yourself, be prepared, prepared for a lot of fiddling about. But uh, you'll get there in the end. I would suggest instead of using a clamp, use something with a screw thread on it. Annoyingly, I've actually got a perfectly good sash clamp that I could have used. Um, I was just being lazy and grabbed the other one. Really wish I hadn't now. But uh, never mind. The uh, screw thread would just allow you to the fine positioning of everything so you could line this up perfectly instead of uh, take one, take two, take three, take four that I was doing. Got there in the end. Got there in the end. Spring is quite tight in there. You can see. Uh, just hoping she'll cock. If she doesn't, got to strip her back down again. Start all over again. Fun, fun, fun. So to fit the new trigger assembly. Thank you, helpful little pin for falling out. If that pin, sorry, pin arm does fall out. It goes into the uh, end here. You just need to locate it. In and in. And there we go. She's located here. I point that out because that thing has fallen out so many times. <laughs> I am so fed up with this gun right now. Honest to God, really wish I hadn't bought it. And that takes a lot for me to say, I have to say. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, keep going. Two. Hmm. 
think I might have got it the wrong way around. Sorry for taking on a disrespected nose journey right now, but uh, might actually be important. There we go. Mm. Now that looks exactly the same as how, how it was before. Right, anyway, to fit it, hopefully without that bit falling out this time, locate it in, and then the actual trigger release. Uh, let's do that in shot, shall we? In, trigger, release, pull that down, there you go, and you're in. So if you are removing a trigger, you've got it to this point, pull the actual trigger release out there, and then you can actually pull it past the piston. Not the piston, the actual bit in the cylinder. So, in. Holding it down into position, perfect, wonderful. Black bit of plastic, stick that in first. Do not stick the end guard on first, like I did before, because I'm an idiot. I'm tired and I need another cup of tea. Another biscuit would be nice. Beer, ooh, that'd be good. Are we allowed to mention alcohol? Oh well. There we go. In. Let's get the pen. Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to just push in. Make sure everything's lined up before you do anything. Always helpful. Here we go. Light taps. Only going through plastic, so uh, you don't need to smack the hell out of it. Now we're getting close. Switch to the rawhide. No, you don't mark your actions. So refitting the uh, trigger assembly. We've uh, slid it in. We've put our pin in. Now let's get the cocking arm. Slide it into place. A little uh, arm, pin, whatever you want to call it. I don't mind. Put that into place. Look out which way it should actually go. And then, hook it here into where it needs to go. One of those moments where you could do the glamorous assistant. I'm not picky. Blonde, redhead, brunette, young, older. I'm 40, so can't be too picky, can I? Oh, this is going to be a fiddle. See if we can get away with the full version, or whether I need to pause. Oh, she's coming in. She's biting me. And she's gone on the floor. Yay. Right. Join me later. Just been yammering away to myself and then realised the camera wasn't actually recording. So what you got to make sure of with this... So when you look through, you can see it's interrupted there. So make sure that it's not. There's actually a cutout. You've got to align it by pressing it there, while also knocking in the pin. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. A slightly different tack. Actually, try looking at it this time. The problem is, the moment you put the pin in, you can't look at it anymore. Started at least. Let's see if we're over. Huh. Did have it in line. Well, the gun is finally back together. If 
found out the problem that I was having was that the uh, swivel pin had actually gotten a bit chewed up. So what I've done temporarily is replaced it with the uh, the one that the uh, spring actually latches onto. And then uh, I'll swap that over for a new one that I've got on order. Thank you, Nibs. Much appreciated. So, uh, yeah, she's back together. Let's go into her stock and uh, go run her through the cranny.